Hello everyone, welcome back to the another lecture on the design of machine element. Uh, in previous uh, lecture, we have solved some problems on the design of fastener. We will continue the problems even in the this lecture also. Okay, so let us get started. Okay, I will read out the problem first. A steam engine cylinder has an effective diameter of 350 mm. Okay. There is a steam engine, a uh, steam cylinder, which is having the effective diameter of 350 mm, that is the capital D is given. And the maximum steam pressure acting on the cylinder cover. Okay, the cylinder cover is used, okay, in the engine cylinder, which has the a pressure of the 1.25 Newton per mm square, that is nothing but P. Calculate the number and the size of the studs required okay we have to calculate value of n that is nothing but number of stud and also we have to calculate the size that is of course the diameter assuming the permissible stress in the studs is 33 mega pascal okay that is nothing but the tensile stress given as the 33 mega pascal okay now the first step when you solve for such problems uh, where uh, we are going to find out the number of studs or the uh, dimensions of the studs. Okay, first we have to calculate the upward force acting on the cylinder cover. Okay, because cylinder cover is used to enclose the cylinder. Okay, so that is given by f equal to this pi by 4 d square into p, where d is the effective diameter of the cylinder that is 350 mm is already given. Okay, so substitute already it is in mm, don't no need to convert it pi by 4 as it is 350 square into p that is the pressure acting on the cylinder cover 1.25 newton per mm square. Okay, so once you solve this, you will get the answer as 120265 newton. Let us give this as equation number 1. Okay, next thing now in the next part of the problem we have to assume the diameter of the stud see anyway we have to calculate but initially we have to assume some diameter for the stud let us say it is a 22 mm okay so what we have to do is we have to assume it first and at the end of the problem we have to prove that whatever we have assumed it is correct okay there is some criteria to check whether the assumed diameter is correct or no fine now from the data handbook for the stud diameter d equal to 22 mm, we will be having this d1 that is nothing but the core diameter as 18.933. This will uh, this you will find in the data handbook directly. That is corresponding to 22 mm, you will be having the core diameter as 18.933 mm. Fine. Okay. Next. Now, resisting force offered by the n studs. Okay, so there are we are assuming there are n studs uh, which are used uh, for the cylinder cover. Okay, so with the help of that, p equal to sigma t, that is the tensile stress pi by 4 d1 square, where d1 is nothing but the core diameter into n, where n is the number of studs. Okay, so n is unknown. Okay. Even P is unknown, correct? So we will get equation in terms of P and in terms of N. So P equal to 9290.5 into N. You solve this, keep N as it is. So let us give this as the equation number 2. Fine. Now, when you compare the equation number 1 and equation number 2, you will find that left hand side of the both the equation is same, that is PP, correct? So according to you know mathematics, if the left hand sides are equal, then even right hand side has to be equal. Correct? So we'll equate the right hand side now. So 120265, that is the right hand side of the equation 1, equal to 9290.5 into n. This is the right hand side of the equation number 2. So we can easily find out value of n, just transfer this to that side you will get n equal to 12.9 or say 13. 
this is the number of studs required for the cylinder okay next taking the diameter of the stud hole is 23 mm okay uh, we always assume equation uh, sorry uh, diameter of the stud hole is greater than 1 from the stud stud diameter is 22 mm we assumed so stud hole diameter is 23 mm and assuming thickness as 10 mm between 8 to 10 mm you can take the thickness fine okay now we'll uh, go for the calculating the dp that is the diametrical pitch uh, the formula is d plus 2t plus 3d2 okay so d is the uh, effective diameter of the cylinder t we assume as 10 mm plus 3 into 23 where 23 is the diameter of the stud hole so dp is 439 mm okay next we'll calculate the circumferential pitch of the stud which is given by pi into dp divided by n where dp is the diametrical pitch and n is nothing but the number of stud that is 13 we already calculated so substitute pi as it is dp is 439 n is the number of stud that is 13 when you solve it you will get 106 mm fine now here comes the last step uh, where you are going to get the answer where the diameter which we assume initially whether it is correct or no from this condition we will confirm that okay so condition for leak proof joint is 20 root d2 has to be greater than sorry less than circumferential pitch and circumferential pitch has to be less than the 20 d2 now we will substitute here okay 20 into d2 that is 20 into d2 d2 is how much 23 so we'll get 95.91 next 30 d2 30 into 23 you will get 143.8 okay now when you compare this 20 square root of d2 is less than 106 which is less than 30 d2 that means whatever diameter we are assumed okay for this stud it's the correct see in case in case if this condition is not satisfied at the end then what to do then you have to go back again you have to assume some other diameter for the stud and you have to repeat the same procedure okay so we usually assume about 20 20 21 22 etc okay this is how you have to solve the problems from the fastener i hope it is clear uh, you go through once again okay if you have any doubt Comment on the video, I will get back to it. Okay, thank you.